used to using our thumbprint to access our smartphones, but how secure is that system? A group of Michigan State University researchers say they've found a way to fake your fingerprints. It was once a high-tech concept only dreamed up in the movies. But using fingerprints to access your secure information is something millions of us do every day. It's called biometrics, which means you're using a unique biological characteristic as a security measure. For most of us, that means using your thumbprint to unlock your smartphone, but it could also mean using a handprint to get into a secure area in a building. A lot of these ideas come from James Bond movies. <laughs> you know, it's becoming a reality now. Michigan State University professor Anil Jain says his team of researchers has figured out how to crack the code by replicating fingerprints. Print, so I can just put it here and it will unlock the door for me. The team in the computer science department started their research hoping to find a way to calibrate fingerprint scanners. The, the byproduct of this research is we can spoof. I can steal your fingerprint. Here's how they did it. Using real fingerprints and a 3D printer, the researchers then create a mold that looks like a human hand. So this is the 3D electronic model, which we then send it to the 3D printer. In their lab, they've been testing four different fingerprint readers from four different major companies that make the secure systems. They ultimately want to put this 3D spoofed hand on a robot. And the robot can put it on the fingerprint reader under dif with different pressure, distortion, so we can study how well the fingerprint readers are, are capturing images. Now that they've exposed the flaw in the system, Professor Jane says it's up to the technology companies to close the loopholes. The burden is on them. They are selling the fingerprint reader embedded in a mobile phone. The burden is on them to tell whether the finger which is being placed on the fingerprint reader is of a real human skin. There's obviously cause for concern, and now there'll have to be a new technique developed to overcome this. Bill Kowalski is a former FBI agent. He's now the director of operations for Raymond Investigative Services. Kowalski says more and more companies are using biometrics, which means they have to be on the lookout for security failures like these. There'll be uh, some attempts to defeat it, and there'll be a new generation of higher security so you have to keep improving and keep monitoring. This fingerprint work at MSU is being funded by a grant from the U.S. Department of Commerce and before you say we just told the bad guys how to do it trust me they already <laughs> know. <laughs> James Bond was doing this back in 1971 so I mean oh, it's I been mean, out there. I it's know. pretty fascinating. It is fascinating. I love the way you guys say so yeah so they, they get it all from James Bond. That's right. Got it. I mean, it's great stuff. Yeah. So not so safe after yeah, all. The companies have to keep up and, and, and move forward right and find something else to keep yeah. the crooks away. Yeah.